what's good you guys it's your boy Sehiko and uh right now I'm headed to Halls Motorsports to pick up me a clutch cable for my <clears throat> my YFZ <clears throat> excuse me but um yeah that's the plan for today I might I may do a little bit of riding today <clears throat> but who knows it's hot <laughs> so yeah anywho um so to make a long story short you guys i took the atv uh up to my grandma house like last monday and uh me and my little brother went riding for a little bit and i drove all the way to the waterfall and uh my brother came over there and uh was on the ride so he went and took it for a ride when he was first taking it out he was stalling and stuff a lot and I say not even 15 minutes or not even 15 minutes, I say about five minutes or six minutes later, uh, he come back on the back of a truck and I'm thinking, oh, he didn't, don't know how to drive it or he, you know, something messed up on it. Cause yeah. Anywho, long story short, the clutch cable basically was broke. Uh, we use, basically putting it in gear get it a kick out of, get a kick out of gear real quick like real fast and that's because when you try to engage the clutch lever up top it basically wouldn't let you do it it's already like engaged and so what that means is the clutch cable is either broken or it needs to be adjusted in my case my clutch cable is broke so right now we're gonna see you know if that's the issue or not if it is you know that's a plus if it's not oh my gosh I get a clutch replaced. <laughs> so, anywho, um, I'm gonna head up here to Halls right quick, and I'll pick y'all back up once we get over to my um to my mom's house. So, yeah. guys I'm replacing this clutch line right here but this is the lever and uh let me show you the piece that had broken off I, I threw the other one away so basically it's like this is where you adjust it at and you adjust it up up here too so in order for this to sit right I had to pull that on there and pull that through the top and this bushing, that bushing sits right there. So, my old clutch cable, that bushing was off. And I want to say about right there or somewhere, if I can find it. If you can see it, uh, right there, it had a kink in the line. Basically, or oh, right here. Basically, it had a broke spring head popped out. So, you could, there's no way you can adjust it. engaging but it's just basically you just dis disengage the right way so other than that uh we'll get back right to it Cut it to the chase. So, 
as you guys can see the wild z is currently down um yeah like it's a, it's a simple fix the clutch but i'm pretty sure it's the clutch or maybe the clutch basket so at least we have an actual clutch cable because when i first bought it the clutch cable it was really loose so we got that out the way it's one step out of the way i'm not gonna worry about uh um you know getting upset or anything because at the end of the day hey man that's part of the game can't get upset or stuff like that it's gonna happen so to make a long story short i let my brother ride it after i had got to riding and the four wheeler was hot and the fan for some reason it works but i'm guessing it didn't get too hot to the point where it needs to kick on but after i put this clutch cable on it kicked on and all that but anywho that ain't part of the problem so so like i was saying i um basically the uh, four wheeler was hot and you know when anything is hot it, it basically slips bad so in order for uh you to make it you know do right you have to basically put it back to neutral and make sure you uh you know you don't stall it again because it's gonna do the same thing over and over put it in neutral it'll crank right up fine and you go to rev it in neutral it then it boom it just kicks it like dump the clutch on you so what it's doing is missing i bet you it has missing teeth on the basket or something and it's not engaging properly or disengaging properly so yeah uh i'm not gonna worry about it because that right there is it can it's an easy fix i either fix it myself or i either take it to somebody but most likely i'll probably end up taking it to somebody because i don't feel like dealing with that right now because uh, I don't want to, you know, sit there and worry myself to death and, you know, something's not right. So I'd rather just go ahead and take it to somebody because right now I just, I really don't have the time to be, you know, toggling, talking, fooling with it like that. Pulling is fine. Like, cranks are fine. Fan kicks on. So everything is fine. It's just, I need to heat wrap that pipe. So, so overall, I'm, you guys, I'm not going to sit up here and uh, hold y'all some stuff. I'm going to basically show y'all the dirt bike I got and uh, yeah it's a little fun it's those of y'all that know about dirt bikes and everything yeah it's a little dirt bike and whatnot but me it's just my first time ever driving a dirt bike so it's good on my part for me to learn I always wanted a dirt bike and I'm like I don't mind it so yeah I'm gonna just show you how to dirt bike.
146 minutes later.